Hello everyone, my name is Python GB. Welcome back to episode 7 of my Terraria Let's Play. As you can see in my hotbar, I now have myself a nimble War Axe of the Night. And you may be thinking, well that's a bit of a skip ahead to what you were having in the last episode. And that's because I actually tried to record this episode before and I did indeed defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Which as a result means I've now got this. But, luckily for you guys, I actually still have the footage... For the, for the, God damn, I can't even speak today. I still have the footage of that. Basically what happened was I tried to record the episode. The episode was good itself. Uh, everything was good on there. But the voice audio was all distorted and for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm going to do is I am going to treat you guys to that footage. And then we shall return once it is finished. So I shall see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so while this footage is playing, I thought I'd go ahead and take the opportunity to uh, have a little chat with you guys Because it's not something I do very often and you know, we've got this footage here So it gives us the perfect opportunity to have a little chat So as you can see in the background what we have going right now is the Eye of Cthulhu battle This happened on the first attempt at recording episode 7 now once again the reason why episode 7 this version of episode 7 Didn't go up is because the voice audio was all distorted and horrible. It was unacceptably bad Bad, and I would not have put that up even if I had even tried to fix it. I don't know man I, I don't like I just don't like not having a perfect video I mean obviously my videos probably aren't perfect anyway, but I want to have them the best that I reckon they can be so anyways on to the little chat that I was telling you about. So, I've got a few questions for you guys regarding the series. First of all, do you think the episodes are alright being around 15 minutes long as they currently are? I mean, in this episode, this episode is probably going to be longer than usual because, of course, we've got the regular episode and then this sort of bonus footage as well. So, I don't know. I'm expecting this to be quite a lot longer than 15 minutes long. So, <laughs> yeah. Kind of a kind of a treat for you guys for saying, you know, just, just thank you. Thank you for sticking by me. Thank you for supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I mean, you guys know that. You don't need to be told you're amazing. You just are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, back to the question. Uh, do you perhaps want to see longer episodes? Would you maybe perhaps want to see shorter episodes? I don't know. What, what, what kind of... What kind of things would you want to see from this series? I don't know. I mean, at the moment, like I said, I do 15 minute episodes and for me, for me personally, I think that's a pretty good sweet spot because I feel that my commentary skills tend to sort of decline after 15 minutes, which is why I tend to stick to 15 minutes. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, I could try and go for longer and try to get used to doing that. I mean, I could give it a trial or something. It's up to you guys because I want to have uh, I want to have your guys' input on the series because it's always nice to have a bit of uh, a bit of viewer input. Hey, it's all good. No point in having a channel if you're not going to involve your community in some way. Yeah. But yeah, that, there we go. There's the Arc Cthulhu fight done. <laughs> so there we go. We're now moving on to the bit of footage where I'm showing you where I uh, made the old the War Axe of the Night. And as you can see, I, I was talking about the jungle hat as well when I was recording it. How it only required spores and not anything else. But yeah, you can see that I'm about to build the axe. That's all good right there. But the next thing I want to ask is, uh, do you maybe want to see these episodes more often? I know that the Terraria episodes seem to get a lot of attention, which is really good because it gives me hope because, it, uh, you know, my channel was kind of built upon Minecraft. A lot of you guys probably know that already. A lot of you guys are probably subscribed to Minecraft. But uh, re recently I found out that Terraria has been getting quite a lot of attention as well. So I'm just like, wow, that's pretty damn awesome actually. So yeah, again, I want to thank you guys for that. But yeah, here we go. Moving on to the Eater of Worlds battle. It, it doesn't go well, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, do you want to see these episodes more often? At the moment, uh, I'm just trying to... I don't really have a set schedule for the videos going out at the minute. I mean, so for example, on one week you might see a couple of videos from this series go out. On another week I might be doing loads more. But I want to try and get it to some sort of, like, formality or normality. Um... Now, the reason why I don't do these episodes daily is because I really don't think I could commit to that. I really don't want to do a series where I can't commit to, like, making videos as often as uh, I want to, or as, or as often as it's demanded. So, yeah, I mean, what I could do is I could probably do every other day. So, you know, meaning you'll have one week where you've got, like, three episodes, and then one week where you've got four episodes. So, again, it's up to you guys. What do you think? Longer episodes? Shorter episodes? More often episodes? Less often episodes? And, obviously, the final thing I want to ask you guys is... Is there anything you shink... A shink? What the hell is a shink? 
Commentary skills declining. Oh dear. Is there anything you guys think I should do before I officially call this season complete? At the moment, what I've got going is, as soon as I defeat all of the bosses at least once, and also get all the best gear, then I'll call the season complete. But if there's anything else, be sure to leave your comments. But that is the end of the footage right there. We're going to return back into the episode. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoy the rest. Alrighty guys, as you saw there, I did go ahead and I did defeat the other Cthulhu and you may have seen also I did try to defeat the Eater of Worlds as well and that did not go so well. So yes, that is one death to report on the series, so that's all good right there. But without further ado, we do still have some things to do today, as you can see. We got some things going on, Nimble War Axe of the Night, we have some Demonite from the failed uh, Eater of Worlds boss. So we've got 22 Demonite ore, so if we just go down here real quick. Make some more of this. We now have 10 Demonite Bars. So now, if we go down here, we should be able to make Light Bane or Demon Bow. Ooh, that does that does 10, that does 14. Uh, Light Bane. I mean, it's a pretty nice upgrade. That's a regular one. Okay, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. So, what I would like to do today is I would like to, once again, try to defeat the Ether of Worlds. This time, I have some potions on me. I've got Iron Skin, Shine, and Swiftness. And then, of course, I've got some bottles. I've got some wood, stone, Ebon Stone. Uh, what else have I got? I do have some rotten chunks somewhere. I'm pretty sure they're in a the chest down here. As you can see, the Dryad has also spawned in. So, that is fantastic. Right. Do it? Do I have them? Oh, there they are. That's right. Okay, right. So, this time what we're going to do, instead of trying to go down into the depths of the uh, corruption and try to defeat him down there, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make ourselves an arena, and we are going to do it on the surface with our arena. So that's all good. Right. This is the jungle. It is still very dangerous, even with my amount of defense, which, by the way, isn't that much, to be honest with you. Hi. Right, okay, he's done... Uh, stars, okay, that's pretty cool. And what I've also done is I've built myself a smorgasbord of arrows. We've got some jester's arrows, which are made by using stars. We've got unholy arrows, which are made by using uh, worm teeth. So that's all good right there. Right, okay, let me just take this poor, poor sucker out. Go on, go on, get killed, get killed, come on! Alright, you're done. Hi. Okay. Hi. Right, okay, we need to get out of here as soon as we possibly can. Get to the corruption, do some things there. It is night time, so if I have to activate night mode, then I will have to activate night mode. I do have an arena to build, so that is all good. Right, there aren't that many stars around, are there? There's one up there, but I can't really get to it. Not too well, anyway. Uh, I'll tell you what, we've got some ropes. Let's use them. There we go. Just get up here real quick. There we go. Every star is sacred in the early stages of the game, which is why I'm, why I'm trying to get them so badly. There we go. And as you can see behind me, I've also got myself a little shadow orb following me. So that's all pretty damn good. It gives off a little amount of light. Back in the day, this Blumen Orb used to give off so much light, you would not need torches. And it actually used mana as well when you used it. But now, it doesn't. You literally just use it, and it gives you a tiny amount of light. So, I mean, it's useful in some cases. I don't know. But in most other cases, it's just like, yeah, there was a point in this crap. Uh, here we go. Here is the corruption. Okay. Hi. Okay, we're straight away greeted with... A bunch of dudes and the remainder of the jungle. Hi. Okay, right, get killed. I'm so sorry if you can't see very well. Right, I'm going to try and light up the corruption just that little bit. Oh my god, I just jumped over him. <laughs> Parkour pro! Let's go, boys! Right, okay. Hi. Yeah, you want to get killed? Because that's what's going to happen. Look at that dude, he's all nimble. Oh, now we can't get out. What a fool. What a dumbass. The hell's that going? Bloody stars just falling down. Right, okay. Let's, uh... No worries, I guess. Right, okay, right, you're done. Let's just get it down here. There we go. Right, what we really need to try and get is some vile mushrooms. Because with vile mushrooms, you can make vile powder. And with the vile powder, you can go ahead. Oh, God, no! Oh, shoot! I can't see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, that little orb kind of saved me a little bit. Ha, 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Oh man. Okay, right. Uh, let's 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 try that again, shall we? Let's try that again, and let's not uh, fall down and uh, almost die. Hi. I don't like this, man. There's so many dudes about. Right. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember how many 
rotten chunks you need. You need, I'm pretty sure you need more vile powder than you do rotten chunks. Alright, let's just kill this poor set. Alright, uh, come on, there you go. Thank you for the worm teeth. We can make more unholy arrows with that. Okay, there are plenty of dudes to kill. Which is okay, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just block this off. There we go. We have plenty of access to the chasms. So we really don't re we don't need these, basically. We don't need these chasms. We can just get rid of them straight away. A meteorite has landed. Okay. Well, I guess that's okay. Is this all going to be blooming desert? Because if it is, then we're not going to be able to find vile mushrooms. At least I'm pretty sure we won't be able to. I don't know, man. We're still in desert. Hmm. I I'm concerned. Oh, there's trees over there, so there must be vile mushrooms. Okay, uh, once again, blocking this off, like you do. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys, I have absolutely no idea how long this episode has been, because obviously we've had the other footage as well, so if this accidentally turns out to be an extended episode, then so be it. I want to get this thing done, my friends. Yeah, there we go, Var Mushrooms. We need a whole bunch of them, though. Uh, is it 30? Is it 30 Vile Mushrooms? Not, not 30 Vile Mushrooms, Vile Powder? I think it is. I don't know, man. Something in my memory is telling me it's it's 30 Vile Powder. I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I really don't know. Right. Oh, no. That's not enough. We're back in the blooming desert. That's not good, man. That's not good at all. We haven't got enough Vile Mushrooms. And we're now approaching the end of the world. Hmm. This is, this is kind of bad. I don't know, man. Come on, get killed. Alright, you're done. Uh, hmm. This is kind of, uh, bad. We don't have enough vile mushrooms to do this thing, so the only other thing I can think of doing is going back down to the chasms <laughs> and trying to take him down again. I don't know, man. We could do it. We could not do it. We have 41 bombs to use, so that should be enough to find enough shadow orbs to kill him with. Not kill him with. Kill the stone with, more like. And there we go. Oh, God. Hi. Can you uh, do me a favor and stop hurting me? Oh, that'd be that'd be great. Thanks, buddy. Right, okay, there we go. You're dead. All right. Now the other thing I know that you can get if you defeat enough of the uh, eaters of souls, there is a very rare chance that they will drop shadow armor, or more to the point, ancient shadow armor, which is basically shadow armor with the old texture. So it gives you the full amount. So it's pretty damn awesome. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go back down into the chasms, and we're gonna try this thing. We do have iron skin potions and other buffs that we can actually use this time. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. We could do this. We could not do this. I imagine that there might be a shadow orb down there. Okay, well, let's go for it. So that's where the star went. <laughs> all right, all right, no worries. And look, 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 I still don't get this, man. We've got floating demon altars. What the hell is up with that? It's just like, wait, what? How is that even possible? Right, okay, there's one shadow orb. Now, just to remind you guys, we need three shadow orbs. Oh, God! Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Three shadow orbs, and then we can spawn in the Eater of Worlds. So, if we just go up here real quick. Please don't kill me. Okay, that's that's good. Alright, and a torch there. What are we going to get this time? Oh, a band of star power. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Eventually, we can use that to make mana cuffs in hard mode. That's good. Okay, okay, bunch of dudes, bunch of dudes. There you go. Oh, all damn coins, dude. I mean, look at this. Just random. It's so random. Just floating freaking shadow orbs. Wait, can we use bombs to mine demonite ore? I wonder if we can actually do this. Okay, if we put one there and one there. Oh, sweet, you can. Holy crap. Hello, demonite. Thank you, dude. Okay, there's two more bits. We're going to get them. Boof. Here we go. Wow. We don't even need to bloom and defeat the Eater of Worlds. We can just do this all the time. Okay, okay, all good. Starting to lose a bit of health now, which is kind of bad. Hey, Star! You're kind of useful. Thank you very much indeed. All right, I imagine there's going to be a Shadow Orb down here. So let's have a look real quick. That, that, that's, that's, that's the Desert Temple. I don't want a Desert Temple. This is kind of dangerous. Oh, no. This is dangerous. Hi. Hey, Mr. Worm. Can I get over there? Oh, God. Okay, right, all good, all good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, right, he's dead as well. Okay, right, here we go, here we go. Bombs away! Oh, boy. Okay, right, that's revealed. 
a demon altar. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Right, okay, uh, let's put one down here. That should give us access to that shadow orb. There we go. Everybody likes access to a shadow orb. There we go. Okay, what are we going to get this time? It is... What was that? Ball of Hurt? Oh, nice. That's really useful, actually, against the Eater of Worlds. Wow. Okay, right. Carrying on. We also have a Vile Thorn, by the way, so that's also a very effective weapon to use. There we go. We've got our parkour. Let's get back up here real quick. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Parkour in this game. <laughs> I'm the master of it. God damn. Right, here we go. We have a grand total of one more Shadow Orb to get. And then we can try our hand at defeating the Eater of Wads again. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I'm nervous again, man. I'm not even going to lie right now. Kind of nervous. Last time, we kept getting knock knocked back everywhere. And we couldn't do anything. So, I don't know, man. I reckon there might be another Shadow Orb down here, though. So, let's just throw a bomb here. It's kind of stupid me building with the bond stone because uh, I can't mine it, <laughs> which is kind of dumb. Right, here we go. So let's have a bunch of these. Should do the trick nicely. And then a bit of stone and then some of that. All right, okay. We need a quick way out. We definitely need a quick way out. So if we just go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of these. I don't know. This might do the job. This might not do the job. I've got no idea. But, yes, there is a Shadow Orb. Holy crap. Okay, right. Exit strategy. Come on. Right, one down there, one down there, one down there. Oh, God. That one was right beside me. God damn. Right, okay, we need one more bomb. This may or may not blow up that orb. Oh, this is dangerous. Right. Okay, escape, escape. That might blow up. Oh, it didn't blow up. Holy crap. I can't believe that. Right, okay. Once again, exit strategy. <laughs> uh, kind of scared. There is demon out there. I could probably get that. Right. The reason why we want to defeat the Eater of Worlds is because we can get... Uh, oh, what the bloody hell is it called? We can get shadow scales from him, and with that, we can make shadow armor. Like, proper shadow armor. And there we go. Okay, all good. Didn't think I was going to make that, but I did. Okay, good stuff. Okay, no more dilly-dallying around. This is, this is the match. Python versus the Eater of Worlds. Take two. Okay, okay. Tell you what, let's just go over here real quick. Here we go. Once again, quick exit. That's what we're aiming for today. We've got a Vile Thorn. We have potions. Okay. Musket. Okay. Oh, you had to spawn there, didn't you? You actually had to spawn there. Can I just say something? You suck. You suck. I can't get out, man. I literally can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out any... Oh, this is... This is such a bunch of crap. Come on. Let me out. Come on. I can't get out. I can't get out. Come on, man. Come on. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Health. If I could defeat this, I will eat my own shoes. Okay, come on, come on. Might be able to get out. Might be able to get out. Come on. Oh, oh they've split like mad. Oh, my God. Oh, this is beyond bad. I can't... If we manage to defeat this, I will be so happy... I can't believe it. This guy is knocking me about like mad. Okay, right. Okay, we got out. Holy crap, we got out. Oh my god. I am so sorry for the shouting. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get out of there, dude. I'm not even going to lie right now. I thought I was genuinely screwed. Right. Okay, back to the vile form. There we go. Now we're killing him. Oh, look at this. Absolutely kicking his ass. There we go. Anybody else want to go? Yeah, of course you do. You want to go? You want to go? Oh, this vile thorn is so cool. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Come on, dudes. Come up here. That's what I'm waiting for. All right, he's done. Okay. He's almost dead. Okay. Come on, dudes. This is going to be a very, very much extended episode. There we go. Oh. 
God. That exit strategy did not go well. Oh. I can't believe we defeated him, man. I can't believe it. I thought I was going to die while I was down here. I don't know why I didn't just get those blocks out earlier. Water is a killer. It just is. Right, okay. Shadow scales are alright. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's demonite ore. I guess we could try and get that. Any bit of demonite is pretty useful. Okay, that didn't go too well. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. I think... I think it's time to get out, fools. <laughs> I think it's time to get out. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. I think it's time to win the episode because, again, it's overrun quite a bit, hasn't it? My God. I want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the episode. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series and want to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Once again, it's it was probably an extended episode, but you guys probably wanted to see the footage. So, there you go. I provided it for you. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll go ahead and build a bunch of stuff in the next episode with the demonite that we got. But for now, it is time for me to go. My name is Python, and I shall see you guys next time.